stuck inside these four walls, sent inside forever, never seeing no Fascist drone lobber in chief, Hussein Obama. Now, in Olafart and uh, No Reference Rance's video, 14 fascist things, I have a few questions. I know his conclusions, but we're going to go over these questions anyway. Are you saying that the this that what you label as fascism is objectively or subjectively immoral? Are you saying it's subjective as in you don't like it. Uh, I, no reference rants, don't like fascism in the same way you don't like Brussels sprouts or toothpaste or oatmeal or yellow cars or bunker busters or whatever. Are you saying it that way? Like, is uh, the choice to be a fascist or not the same choice as going to McDonald's instead of Burger King? Is it subjective? Now, you do know what those terms mean now because I taught you what they mean. So you can't claim ignorance anymore and lack of education. So if you're saying it's objectively immoral, and he makes it clear in his video that the government is not the source for his morality because governments change its mind all the time and governments engage in fascism and the violation of civil rights. And I could do 10, probably 10 video responses to all the errors he made in this video and, and all his generalizations because he... Old Fart lives on generalized short arguments. Uh, he's like the Jack Chick slash Kent Hovind of atheism. So, since the government doesn't determine your objective morality, where from do you get your objective morality? Would this fascism that the government does engage in, and I do agree that Washington engages in uh, violating their own constitution, uh, violating the liberties, of American citizens. I would agree with that. I'm not going to get into specifics now, but I do agree that governments do evil things. And since your uh, objective morality doesn't come from the government then, or society, if you were the only person that protested this, this fascism that Washington engages in, it would still be wrong, wouldn't it? So public opinion wouldn't determine whether something's right or not, would it, little fella? So since you have an objective morality and it doesn't come from the government, it's clear from your video you're, it's not subjective, it's objective. It doesn't come from the government. From where does this uh, immaterial, non-spatial, abstract, you can't weigh it, can't touch it, feel it, smell it, taste it, objective morality, where does it come from, little fella? Because and you, you do believe this is an objective, literal truth. There are some things that are objectively immoral. You're not saying, I hate X that the government does, much like I dislike vanilla. You're saying it's an objective truth. Some of the things the government does and some things in society are objectively evil, even if you were the only person stumping against it. So, since we have that out of the way, where does it come from? since you believe everything in this universe can be explained via a natural process. Now, if you say morality evolved, then that really wouldn't lead us to an objective morality anyway, because it would be, a morality would be subject to the whims. Well, I don't want to say whims because evolution isn't a conscious process with a goal. It's all natural selection. Survival of the fittest, sometimes the luckiest. Claiming morality came, came about via evolutionary processes What's passe today might be okay tomorrow. And what's kosher today might be passe tomorrow. So claiming it came through evolution and it's just part of uh, kind of a, us being chained to the chemical reactions in our brains, that wouldn't be an objective morality. If you claim 
you get it from pragmatism, well, I can think of pragmatic solutions to problems that you would disagree with. Uh, how about everybody who is retired and can't support themselves, we cut them off. I don't think the federal welfare state should exist, but uh, getting rid of Medicare, I would reform it out of existence, but let's just say a pragmatic uh, proposal to stop our upcoming debt bomb. Just get rid of Medicare right now. Now, sure, there would be a lot of wailing and gnashing of teeth, but you've got to make room, a pragmatic solution here, you've got to make room for the young. You know what I mean? Uh, people who aren't old and fossilized. We've got to uh, make room for the young. So a pragmatic, claiming it comes from pragmatism wouldn't work either. So I'm wondering, in conclusion, Old Fart Ranch, you have given credence to a literal objective morality that is not material and can't not be explained through naturalistic processes, yet you claim to be an atheist. Hmm. Me thinks you got some thinking to do, little fella. And uh, good luck with that. You'll need it. Normally I would, uh, you know, I've asked him these questions before, but we, we have an obvious conclusion here. He believes in an objective morality that is not material. So he has agreed that something non-natural exists as a literal truth in this universe, which debunks his own paradigm. Nice job, little feller. Peace and love is where it's at. Peace and love and drone attacks. Peace and love is where it's at. Peace and love and I reauthorize the Patriot Act.